Okay, time to add multiple bubbles. So, what I'm going to do is, I hit Control L, uh, Control L, and open up my fish movie clip, which I already have. It's open right here. I've got the bubble movie clip on layer, the second layer, and then the fish is on the bottom layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add frames to this. So I'm going to click out here, and I'm going to say, okay, here's 30 frames. All right, F5. Right, and then F5. And then, so now, instead of just having only one keyframe for the fish in the bubble, I actually have some frames set aside for this thing to play on. And we'll see if that changes the animation too much. It doesn't. It looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, and this is pretty simple, is I'm just going to copy this little this little bubble I've got here, so I'll show you. Zoom in here. Zoom tool. Zoom in once. And you'll see I'll click on the bubble. Right, That's the bubble movie clip in the property window. You can see it's instance of bubble. It's a movie clip and its name is bubble. Um, select it and I'm going to copy it. Control C. All right, So I've just copied it. And now I'll make a new layer and I'll call it bubble 2, right? And I'm going to hit control V on my keyboard. Last time I hit control C to copy. Now I'm going to hit control V to paste. And there's the second bubble. On the new layer, notice it's on the new layer. Turn the eyeball off. You'll see it's there. This bubble's on layer 2. And then the fish is here, right? Those eyeballs are really handy. Okay, so there's the second bubble. And what I'm going to do is just position it kind of next to the other one, but then I'm going to stagger the animation by grabbing this keyframe, this first keyframe, and dragging it over so that it starts, the second bubble starts on frame 6. So then I will make a new layer and call it bubble 3, right? And then hit Control V to paste and then I'll grab that keyframe and move it over here and there's that bubble right there I can move that one right there so now I have three bubbles right one starts here the other one starts here and this other one starts there and I can stagger that one if I want and I'll make one more just for good measure bubble four control V to paste which pastes the bubble movie clip basically and I'll drag it right to a different position and then stagger the keyframe so that it starts over here let's say on frame 14 so one two three four bubbles all right hit control enter on your keyboard to play your movie to make a movie and there goes the, the fish and there are the bubbles animating you can see there they go All right, and now I can play with location. So I can take the first one and move it over and down. Take the second one and move that down. The third one and the fourth one. And then look at my new location and see how I like them. I can even vary their size by taking one of these, let's say this first one, right, zoom in, okay, and I'll take the eyeballs off on the other ones, let's say this one right here, let's say the second one, and get my scale tool, and I could even scale it down a little bit so that the bubbles, not only do they have very varying positions where they start from, right? They all start from varying positions and they start from varying keyframes, but they can also be different sizes. So now when I play the animation, you'll see that some of them are, the one is a different size, which adds a little bit to the realism of the bubbles. So I, I like the way that looks. So I'll take this one here, or the last one, 
or the, which one's the last one. I'll take this last one and I'll also scale that down a little bit. Hold down the shift key when you're scaling from the corner so that you don't turn it into an um, ellipse. So I make that one a little bit smaller and I can vary the shape on this one too if I want. Okay. And maybe for good measure I add one more bubble. F6, I can also just put an empty keyframe right here. Before I was dragging the keyframe over, but I could also put a keyframe and then get this small bubble, copy, and paste. And now I have it ready to go. Okay, so now I have the three bubbles, or the five bubbles, name the layer. All right, and then check out your animation. So now, the secondary animation of the bubbles coming out really adds to, I think, the effectiveness of the whole piece. All right, thanks a lot.